I've come to the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, one of my favourite places and a real landmark of British astronomy. I'm here to meet a group of stargazers who all live nearby in London. I want to know about their experience of astronomy in the city and find out how they're affected by light pollution. So, Sati, what is it that you find frustrating about light pollution? Um, it's just the glow, really, the glow in the sky that prevents, prevents me from seeing the things I want to see. Um, you know, particularly when I'm with my children, uh, because they see all the images in books uh, and on the TV. And um, the, the question I get asked is, well, why can't we see, see things like that? And clearly the answer is because of light pollution. It's constant, really. Uh, your eyes never get adapted fully to the night sky. Security lights activating by animals in gardens, it's constantly flashing. Um, and, of course, street lights are a major problem. Almost completely robs you of the fainter stars. And some of the brighter stars you can't even see close to the horizon because there's this constant orange glow. It's there all the time. When Greenwich Observatory was first founded in the 1600s, it was a long way outside the centre of London. But now it looks straight out over the city. And all these lights, from the Millennium Dome to the individual street lights, have blocked the sky from view. As London astronomers, these guys rarely get to experience proper darkness. So I'm going to take them somewhere to see what the stars are like without the orange glow. We're going to take you guys to a proper dark sky. What kind of things are you looking forward to I seeing? I would like to see a naked eye view of the Andromeda galaxy, which people say is possible, and that would really uh, make my day, absolutely. I'm longing to see the Milky Way. Um, just love seeing it on photographs. It's absolutely beautiful, so just to see that with my own eyes would be a dream, really. Really would. And how about yourself, Jamie? What are you looking forward to seeing? Dying to see a galaxy. Any galaxy will do. Um, <laughs> just, just, yeah, just being able to see it with my own eyes in real time. It's something that's just so far away. It kind of would wow me, I think. So, to fulfil the wishes of these city astronomers, we're leaving the bright lights behind and heading somewhere really, really dark. Now, we've come all the way from London. Yep. Been diligently keeping your heads down to the ground. Yep. Suspenses. Three, two, one. Have a look. Wow. How's that? Beautiful. It's amazing. There's just so much there to see. Just so many stars. It's really it's overwhelming. It is disorientating. Lovely. Beautiful. This is the Rollwright Stone Circle in the Cotswolds. It's so dark here that we have to use a special light intensifying camera that's thousands of times more sensitive than any normal camera. So now, can I tear you away for just for a moment? <laughs> I know it does look pretty impressive, <laughs> and I know you're not using it and you want to make the most of it, but I've got a challenge for you. Okay. You're going to have to work for this. Yeah, but the yeah. challenge, can you see, if you turn over in that direction, I'm going to use my laser pointer now, just up there is the constellation of Pegasus. It's uh, the winged horse, yep. but it's this big square of Pegasus yeah, that we're interested in. Yes. Can you see that just there? Yes. Yep. Now, I'm guessing you could probably pick out those stars back in London, just yes. about there. Yes. Yep. Yep. Your challenge is to count how many stars you can see in the square of Pegasus. Really? Yes. I can't um, normally count any inside it. Well, I can't normally. Can see one. One, two, so normally from London you can't no. see any. No. Okay. No. Right. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, <laughs> nine, eleven, twelve. Oh. I've got twelve. You've got twelve. Yeah. How about At the you, moment. You, you, you want twelve as well? Mm -hmm. I've got one. Out. It might be discrepancy. It's on the line. Okay. Borderline whether it's in the square or not. <laughs> twelve. We'll say it is. <laughs> we'll <laughs> just try <laughs> this. So if you can see twelve stars within the square of Pegasus, that's a fantastic measure of how dark a sky is. That's amazing. And to be able to see twelve is incredible. And zero. Yeah. Man. And zero from London. <laughs> so it makes yeah. you realise just the Absolutely. beauty of what wow. you get. Now I've got a bit of a treat for you. If we take the top corner star off the square of Pegasus and then we hop across from that one to that one up there and then we hop further over to the north, there's one star there and then another faint one there. Can you just make out a fuzzy blob? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. about there. Yeah. 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 That is the Andromeda Galaxy. 
mind-blowing, isn't it? Yeah. It's truly amazing. Now, we've seen some pretty incredible things so far, but the crowning glory, the thing that I'm pretty sure you wouldn't get to see normally from, from your homes in London, is that overhead. Running all the way from the horizon over there, the Milky Way. You see it? Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Incredible. And that is actually the combined light from all the stars in our galaxy. And as you can see, there's thousands and thousands of them. Even our specialist cameras aren't sensitive enough to pick up the Milky Way. But here it is in all its glory, taken on a long exposure from exactly where we're standing. Quite incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's coming out really it, it nicely. It really takes a moment to take it all in. Yeah. It's, 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 seeing it's seeing it on pictures for all this time, there it is. I'm awestruck because I've never seen so many stars in such clarity. It's just awesome. It really is. Just never seen it before, which goes to show the beauty of the night sky is taken from us by light pollution.